As we all know, Star Wars Manufacturer is on a hold for some time. We got only like some hentai coming up, so I decided to suck out some more content from season 3 of Mandalorian. Here is some 69 retarded things in no particular order, although I will go episodically, starting from the end, of course. The first retarded things makes me kinda nostalgic. They pulled a last Jedi on us, but this time instead of disappearing knife, they disappear whole fucking guy. A red guy goes to whip a baby, cut and it's a different guy. Thought we wouldn't notice but we did why the praetorian guards don't have a basket armor why they don't have a jetpack oh we have a classic here mando with the guns causing distance so he can be disarmed picking a melee experts against guys who specialize in range weapons with jetpacks seems kind of like a bad idea wouldn't dead poopers make more sense these guys suck Mando is done here, he is electrocuted and these two fuckers just stand around instead of stabbing him. Hey, idiots, you know the one thing you are supposed to be good at, the stabbing? Why aren't you doing it? I've got this, go save your kid. How does she know the kid is in danger? Gonna be this time. Surrender or fight? Jesus man, this is retarded. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna have to surrender man. <laughs> Can you imagine if she did? I give up, you won. What? Really? Look at this idiot. Gideon is trying force push. <laughs> Take his helmet off, man. It would make sense if you are escorting a prisoner to not keep him in a full set of armor. But taking his helmet off is like the bare minimum. Plus we could see Pedro acting, man, in the finale. That would be kind of neat. How is Greg choking a guy and breaking his gun at the same time? Fucker could barely walk last episode, man. Well, what would you do if you are so smart? I don't know, maybe use the fucking force, dipshit retards. The fact that Greg is separated means one of two things. Either Bo-Katan doesn't give a fuck about missing child in a lunatic's evil lair, or she doesn't give a fuck about Din because she is just leaving, man. I count these as two retarded things. How did the ships pass each other without crashing or shooting? The light cruiser doesn't have a shield? The fucking first shot from the interceptor does damage man, what the fuck? And listen, here in Wikipedia it says it has a shield, okay? If we can't trust Wikipedia, we are just a bunch of fucks blabbling nonsense. How do they know there is a Mando fleet? Well, they have a scanners obviously. So why didn't they detect Mando when he arrived at episode 2? So there is a ship. Okay, destroy it while it's parked and bring me the intruders. Boom, they got Dejan and Grogu on silver platter. Okay, so uh, there is no scanner. So how do they know there is a fleet, man? And not only just one ship? Where is the rest of the fleet? Gazanti is gone. Fag fighter is gone. From what they showed us on the screen, the interceptors and bombers wouldn't stand a chance, man. They don't have a shield. Even the fucking backpack rockets would destroy them. If Gideon can smoosh a dark saber, he would crush Mando's neck in a second. Or rip his hands off. Yeah, Bo-Katan doesn't have a hand. Or is her hand stronger than Bashkar? Hmm? Bogatan saying, uh, fuck the fleet, the real fight is down here, is fucking retarded man. You are safe, just let the fleet deal with the 10 interceptors and bombers and then fight the knockoff Mandos, what the fuck? Ugh, interceptors hanging upside down man, that's so fucking retarded. You see this? You see this? That's where the pilots gets in. But fuck it man, some guy thinks this is cool, so fuck logic, fuck everything. Why is Mando alive? In a previous previous video I said the reason why is Mando alive has to be real fucking good. And the reason why Mando is alive is so that he can escape later. Well, maybe he wants to clone him. If you clone Din, you get a peasant boy that you would have to train his whole life to get a Din. Mando could pick up the second gun, but he kinda forgets I guess. Mando could have taken a Costco Troopers a flamethrower. If Greg would show up one minute late, Mando would be dead. And of course, how did he find him in the first place? I guess the answer is a force. In that case, uh, fuck you. If Gus is watching Greg and Mando on the map, why are there guards patrolling? Wh what are they doing, man? Can Gus just say where they are? What the fuck? How is he tracking them? He misses his head three times. Gus is lucky that they established throughout the all seasons that Mando has a terrible aim. Wait, also Gus taking his helmet off to monologue again, fucking idiot. They board the gauntlets just so they can drop from them minute later. MC Hammer is missing pliers. 
Isn't it cool how there is a big giant fuck of storm and rain and shit, but when Bo needs a way out, there's a literally sunlight coming through and later on no signs of storm? Hmm. By adding the one thing I never had. The force. Gideon has a real bad case of monologism, but uh, why say the clones are force sensitive? It's like a fucking huge deal in this galaxy. All you have to do is shut the fuck up, man. Whistling birds would solve lots of problems. Let's go. Self-destruction console right next to the clones. Retard. Gus could just shoot her in the thigh. It's real shit armor there, bo -Katan. He is kicking your ass, just fly up and back a little bit and shoot the fucking rocket backpack into him. Well, it wouldn't kill him. Well, it wouldn't be pleasant, I suppose. I mean, Greg could just choke him to death. Luke taught him not to do that. Right, right. Greg should wait until Gus is asleep and then try to kill him. <laughs> Greg could just pick up his helmet and then Mando would shoot a flamethrower into his face. The safe cave is a couple of minutes next to the evil lair. Okay, okay, and they never see each other. Okay, okay. Ex-Wolf's Kamikaze. First of all, the fact that he can hit the hole is kinda... Okay, but why is he doing that? They are winning. How do you know your comps work? They are in the middle of battle, you could kill so many of your own. But no, he actually kills only Gus. And that's retarded. Also, why destroy the base? I'm sure they have like a functional toilet here. And that's a good start. Plus the Godzilla doesn't seem to attack them here. That's huge for Mandalorians, because wildlife hates Mandalorians. <laughs> There is no urge to get out of here, it's like they read the script or something. Mando saw how Greg stopped a flamethrower, okay, okay, exploded light cruiser is tiny bit bigger than a flamethrower. You think this fucking shield is gonna help or something? Ah, oh, this is the first time they use the backpack rocket, I think. Okay, this is personal, this fuck said it's kinda waste to use a rocket on a gunner who is currently one shot the commandos. He also said that this wouldn't do damage to the turrets on this ship. Here you fuck, three of them destroyed the gauntlet. So the retarded part is that the first thing we should see is a volley of these rockets hit the Costco troopers and then the Costco troopers popping like a confetti. Flamethrower doesn't do shit to men though. Here we have a missing jackpack. <laughs> Kill her, shoot her in the face, bonk her over the head with a stick. Just to model like her. Oh, oh. How did they get lost? She cuts a hole and then you go back the way you came from, man. You fucks, what the fuck? Dean loses communication with R5 after at 20 meters, but everyone is just talking, no problem. Come in. X loses the communication only after he is exiting the atmosphere. Helmet Mandos can take their helmets off whenever. They can just dip their balls in the holy water and they are Mandalorians again. This is the way. This is the way. Wait, they didn't finish last time. So why is he wearing a helmet? Also, this fuck was talking shit to Greg and he, he said he can train because he didn't set the creed or whatever. Fucking useless mice droid calls other useless mouse droids. R5 can hack everything in the facility and these fucks can even warn others. Set alarm? Nothing? Why are there holes in the floor? Can you fly under it and get to the end? Why these fucks don't have a jetpack? Man, watch this retard, man. Doesn't shoot, doesn't shoot, moves like an idiot. Oh my god. They don't get hit once. Faceless white guys missing faceless colorful guys. I feel nothing. Listen, I don't like when people say they can see anything, you know, and that's that means it's a bad fight. But this fight kinda sucks, man. We have this shot, but then in this shot they are next to each other. Uh, she's slicing and something. I can see shit. She can swing the saber in this speed, kills everyone, but Mando almost slices his legs off. How are they getting one shotted, man? What the Gas locks them in and then opens the door and waits on the other side helmetless. So what he should do is lock them, take the guards, wait behind the doors, open it and fuck them up man for V2. Why is he still wearing the disintegration bullets when we haven't seen his rifle anywhere? Okay, you are getting fucked. Activate the jetpack, get some air, ask for help, anything, whatever man. Mando runs in through the door that Gus locked one scene ago. He gets stuck under that, what the fuck? Rhino lifting Greg gets stuck under this... Uh, this. As a reward for the rescue of this planet, you will get a cabin in the place where there is no sewerage. 